Participants shared both successful and unsuccessful policies and interventions from their countries. For example, Myanmar's Livelihoods and Food Security Trust Fund provides access to information and services related to migration, which can alleviate the stress and debt of families staying behind. The Mekong Region Futures Institute was successful on a policy front, working with the Lao government to change subsidy programs after creating a model of migration to better understand motivations. The Sri Lankan government reversed an old policy subsidizing chemical fertilizers to now support organic farmers, reducing health problems in rural areas. Not all attempts have been successful. The Chinese government struggled to assist returned migrants who attempted to start businesses in their hometowns. In India, water user associations often lack meaningful engagement from women and low caste users, leading to unequal distribution of water. Inadequate wetlands protection has forced women to walk farther for water. These burdens have increased the rate of distressed migration. In Myanmar, the government lacks the bargaining power necessary to protect its migrant workers in Thailand. Cutting off the supply of migrants from Myanmar would simply lead to more migrants coming to Thailand from other South and Southeast Asian countries. I'm having some experience uh, in our university. So most of the students uh, coming mm. from rural areas of the university yeah. are not going back to their homelands, oh. basically due to the mm, agriculture is, a not, is not a profitable business. Mm. So it has become uh, very difficult due to water scarcity mm. and probably the poverty. Mm. And therefore we are trying to keep them in their lands by empowering education. Most successful among them is the use of e-commerce. So, what is the situation in China related to that now? So we are having great problem in the marketing chain in Sri Lanka. In China, we, we face the same problem for the, for the marketing chain. In China, they, they are improving now. Post harvest uh, activities in the last maybe 10 years. And you said that the Alibaba is supporting that. Yeah, yeah, yeah yes, yes, so. yes, 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 uh, yes. I think in China, we, it's a very important thing we need to do that. We, they want some people to know that agriculture is not a bad low-income industry. It's a potential for the development in the, in the future. Maybe you, if you do a good job and you can get uh, enough income, we, we need to change this, uh, this mind. The other thing is important to have a dialogue uh, between the policy makers. So we have to educate them on this matter and uh, try to incorporate uh, this concept and how to get rid of this. Uh, in uh, co incorporating that in the basically in education system.